Hey, y'all. We have an awesome episode for you today. Welcome back to the Can of Comedy pod. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for listening. Guess who's here today, y'all? My Ooh. girl. Ooh. My girl. Ooh. Shane. Hi. Shane in the house, y'all. Yes. Shane is here, y'all. Shane out here. Yeah. Just, Round of applause. Yeah. Should we clap? Yeah. This is clap like, it up. Clap it this up. This is a big moment. This is a huge moment. We've been yeah. trying to get her on the show for a little bit, and I'm just happy that she made it. I'm so happy just to, to be oh, here. Oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks, for me. thanks girl. Appreciate you coming out. Yes. You should also say off top, happy birthday to both of y'all. Thank yes, you. Yes. Two Libra yeah. Queens sitting on y'all yeah. couch. Oh, yeah. Jerrica's birthday was yesterday. We're going to get into that. Oh, that Lord. Oh, Lord. But just to remind y'all. They look like they fresh from the party right now. They look like it. Yeah. Yeah. We it tired. I took a nap today. It didn't really work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your sleepy. birthday was when? Like the 11th? October 10th. Two weeks ago, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sure what do they say about Libras? What is the I like? Um, We're the best. Oh, uh, yeah. That's There's it? no argument, nothing. There's nothing here. Y'all are, too, are you into Are y'all into that oh, yeah. shit? I just know my shit. They're two yeah, Leos. Yeah. And they're kind See, of opposite Leo. That's what though. I don't like about the horoscope shit, though. Because like, cause I don't really know nothing about it. But mm-hmm. as soon as somebody knows what you are, it's always like the... Mm. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> well, because y'all that are two sense. opposite Leos, though. Like, there's a what's spectrum, and there's, you guys are on the opposite side. So, so how what would are, you evaluate where we land on the spectrum? I feel like he's more outgoing and chatty. You're, like, more quiet. Okay. I mean, you do stand up. mean... I'm not mean. Nobody mean I'm not here. Leo, like, no, niggas ain't mean. Leo's I mean, mean. When, you, when you gotta be. No, you could be when spicy. Don't do that. I, could be, nah, I, mean, I usually like them, I'm but passionate. they're still mean. I like them. I like Leo's. But they we get along really well. I'm low. passionate. I'm spicy. Sometimes you can't be spicy. Niggas I feel like I've mean. seen it. But what's the thing about Libras? <laughs> what do they say about Libras? Are y'all sensitive? No, no we're absolutely we're the, the best. We're really just the best. <laughs> That's the only thing that they say about Libras. I don't have enough information to counter that. Nothing bad. Like all of our like bad traits are still not that bad. Hello. I'm gonna have to look. See, that don't, don't make no sense. I mean, you could Google. Do what you no, have no, to no, do. Let's just tell possible. you that we're so cool. Don't matter. Word. But y'all, yeah. history. How do y'all know oh, each other? Yes. Claim the fame. We should get into that because yes. y'all were on that show together. That's how y'all met, right? Yes. Word. Which is crazy because our dads are obviously in the same mm. lane. So mm. it's just interesting that we've never seen each other. We've never met. Yeah. And, you know, we sign up for this random ass show and we get there and I see another black girl yeah. and I said, Hit it off immediately. Hit it off. Alliance? Instant Alliance? It, yeah. Unspoken, but yeah, it was kind of like, "Hey, girl, you know, you know, you know." <laughs> you know. We looked at each other and said, "Hey, girl, you yeah. know, how black we girls good? be talking." Yeah, we good? It, it just made sense. Yeah, because yeah, even watching the show, you see all the personalities in it, and knowing you and seeing what your demeanor seemed to be yeah. like, I was like, "All right, it makes sense. This yeah. would be like Jarek is homie." Yeah, we, when we were roommates. Yeah, we were roommates. Yeah. We just also both Libras, Cat Moons. Like we just mm-hmm. see really well. Clicked really fast. Very similar charts. You don't know what that what is. What kind evil. of moon? Capricorn. Capricorn. Cat moons. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought she said what cat. What that mean? I, I thought she said cat too. Yeah, I was like, I didn't even know it was animals in them shit. <laughs> he was like, I you know cat, about cats, my nigga. Cat moon. Cat this moon. is your shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't even think I ever heard like the term, what do you, what they call it, like rising moon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the rising like and the moon. Like, where'd that come from? Yeah. So the moon sign. That's your birth chart. Yeah, it's your birth. We're getting deep into it. Look at you. shit medical. What do you know? You know something about your moon sign? I know I'm a cancer moon. Oh, yeah. that's nice. You yeah. you wear your emotions on your sleeve. Mm-hmm. Do I? When well, no, you comfortable? I feel like you I, I hide them know. very well. I don't know. You be crying? Mm. No. <laughs> I you cry when, when you got to. Question. You know what I'm saying? Talent don't, don't even. Talk it just be a quick cry though. Like, like, I'm saying, you don't talk. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, y'all are two opposite Leos. Yeah, we you talked about talk. this early in the, um, one Wait, of our first episodes. When's your birthday? August 3rd. Okay. You August also, right? I'm July 27th. Oops. Oops. I feel like that matters. Like where you are in the month. Yeah. You know what it's like? September Libras are not like October Libras. Absolutely. Nothing more quiet. What it's always been with me is like, I just don't like the idea of when I was born determining anything about my personality. It does, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it don't matter. We did something today. It don't matter how nice I make today? that shit sound. Yeah. <laughs> it no, does. It really it does. Really You'd does. be surprised. Yeah. Let me ask you, Shane, because we asked Jerrica on, um, we did an episode where we talked about claiming the fame as much as we could, right? Yeah. And with you, I know that I've known Jerrica my whole life. So mm-hmm. as far as the degree to which she's been public with things, I've, I've been aware of like kind of her slowly putting herself out there a little more with certain mm-hmm. things. Yeah. But, when we knew you were coming on, I was trying to Google you just to like out of respect, be able to just know certain things to kind of be able to ask you about that may be actually connected to you. But there's nothing yep. of you. Yeah. There's some like videos of you like five years ago leaving yeah. like the nail salon and niggas just trying to take pictures and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So when you did claim the fame, question I asked Jerrica when she did it, how big of a decision was that for you knowing that you would be putting yourself publicly out there? Like on TV. That was major. Because it's like 
that's a huge deal. And yeah. then I'm also not just representing myself. I'm representing my entire mm-hmm. family. So right. that's like a different layer of like pressure and like mm-hmm. I just don't want to like embarrass, you know, like my family. Yeah. Like so right. yeah. that's a big thing. Especially with reality TV, you just don't know how it's gonna go and how you're gonna get edited and right. like anything like that. So just going into it, I was just like Hoping for the best. And I yeah. think that it was, I'm, I'm glad I did it. Like, it came out, I think, the best way it could have. Like, it could have been yeah. a lot worse, so. I, I think, think you would... claim to fame is a pretty, like. It's a safe. Upper, it's a safe game. Line. It's not loving hip-hop, you know no. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's no not Bad Girls Club. Though. It's not yeah. about romance. Yeah. It's just strictly <laughs> gameplay. Exactly. So it's a safe yeah. show. Yeah. Because I think if it wasn't, I think I would be also yeah. nervous about how I would look Yeah, I don't too. know how yeah. quick I would have hopped into another situation. I think it yeah. was like the perfect show and like the perfect time in my life. For yeah, it worked. It was very random when mm-hmm. it came up to me too because yeah. they DM'd us. That's how we found oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. They, they hit us on Instagram? Yeah. on Instagram. They we got hit, hit up. You for the first season too. Right? I got hit up for the first yeah. season. And I didn't, I didn't see, see it. it. Oh, I don't think I even I didn't see that. that. Yeah. They hit me a first season. I missed but it. It's they meant a to be. Folder. We were not supposed to be on the first. We weren't season. supposed to be on the first like, season. Yeah, yeah. No, it probably did yeah. work out better. They, they had. A, it was a lot better production. It looked mm-hmm. cleaner this season. Like it. It looked. It, anyway, the games the are more fun. And I like the people that we were. With. Oh, we had good. Like, we had I'm, a good yeah. cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the people y'all had on there. It made sense. I had a lot of fun with that show. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm not into reality like that. And even like when I knew you were gonna be on it. I had uh, watched the first season just mm-hmm. to have an yeah. idea of the show and I loved it. Yeah. But I don't like all that too hot to handle. That shit's yeah. weird to me. Well, okay. that's just like not the same messy, dramatic like stuff that yeah. you're used to. It's, yeah. So it's something yeah. different. It's a breath mm-hmm. of fresh and air. Also, it's like the only show that like uh, like the audience can like participate and like play right. along. Yeah. So like, like who is there's this that element of things. Related to? Right. And you know, yeah. if they don't Google even as soon as they get the first yeah. clue, if yeah. they play along and I found I've like talked to people who played the entire season. They said they had a good time yeah. trying to figure us all out. Yeah. You know. And so I think it's it's a fun show. I think it'll be around for a long time if they can keep finding people that want to do it. Yeah. Because yeah. it's different. I'm yeah. like it's excited not, to see what happens. I want to see what's next season. season. Yeah. I'm like, oh, who's going to But it's probably it? harder to do because people, you know, everybody want to be seen. Everybody that too. is like. <laughs> it, I think it but is hard to also, do. Also, there's so many celebrities. I got cousins and brothers. Yeah. 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 Are they doing don't cousins know. too? Mm-hmm. They should do cousins. We had no cousins. We had no, no cousins. Everybody was. They, they the first season they had cousins. Yeah. It was brothers, sisters. We had brothers, sisters, daughters. They asked me for people. I was like, I got a cousin for y'all. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 No doubt. So yeah, we told we met on claim to fame. This my girl. Yeah. <laughs> we so close. We live in the same building. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. You had told me that. That's crazy. We were because you just moved building. back to L. A. Just moved back to L. A. Yeah. I had invited her over. We had like a little barbecue when I first got there. Mm-hmm. She said I like this place, and then a c- couple months later, she just yeah. moved in. No, that's crazy. So it was so cute. Same floor too, right? Not no, she's floor. one down and down the stairs yeah, and to the left, no to the difference. right. Yeah, it's right yeah, there. It's so up. close. That's perfect. Well, yeah. <laughs> do you think coming off a of claim to fame, you do anything else like that? Since it was such a positive experience for you, because I feel like coming out of it, it seems like I love a good game. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's like always fun for me. It really would have to be the right situation. Yeah, like. In the theory, show. stuff like Big Brother sounds like fun, but I'm like, I don't it's know. About it looks messy that. though. Yeah, it doesn't feel like yeah. it's, it's only different. focused on gameplay. Yeah, exactly. I need one of those shows, and you, it's constant. Like yeah. the you, live feeds are scary. The live feeds are weird. I'm gonna say some shit I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> I'm so glad there was no <laughs> live in the house. house. See, that's what mad I'm wondering about. Yeah, do you feel do you feel comfortable being yourself publicly? Like, cause I know like again that family name thing that's huge because we know who you're related to, obviously, and um that comes. I feel like that just comes with a certain type of like attachment to the yeah. world, like mm-hmm. automatically. So do you find yourself having to kind of like catch how you move in certain spaces more than most people? Because even uh, on the show, you were really discreet, but I feel like it worked there. Yeah. Like I thought you had the best strategy when you were quiet, walking around with that book, and niggas <laughs> thought you was right. No, but like, I thought she was being so like, like, sneaky. Was I really wasn't she was doing minding her business. Yeah. I was yeah. minding my business, and I was talking yeah. to everybody. Was it was talking. just like... yeah. If there's like a group setting, I'm mm-hmm. usually not the loudest person in that group. I'm more right. of like a one on one kind of a person. Right. So, like, right. I think because I wasn't like telling the group stories and stuff like that, people were like, oh, she's quiet. But it's like, I've talked to literally every single person in this house. Like, that's she like was. the whole reason that I didn't go home yeah. when I when people wanted me to go home in the beginning. So, it was like I had an alliance of people. So, yeah, because yeah, they knew who you were. Yeah. Early. I don't even remember how they knew. Like yeah, they had, you kind of they had pretty early. The Part closest. of the concept of this podcast is all of our pops are comedians, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, 
obviously there's levels, but your mm-hmm. dad is to damn near everybody in the genre, the pinnacle of it, right? Right. I think a lot of times conversationally it comes down to, to Eddie and like prior for right. most people specifically in our environment. Mm-hmm. Um, but with our dad, you know, we grew up like going to their shows, yeah. you know, and mm-hmm. so like the world of comedy, we're kind of like attached to almost as like a family business in a certain way. Like I knew what the red light was for like a comment to get off stage when I was like seven. I remember mm-hmm. like getting nervous when that shit would go up. Like, oh, right. do we know? Oh, oh. You know what I mean? It's just that I know other kids yeah. and stuff don't oh, don't really crazy. ever deal with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, just real shit. That's but, really cool. But your yeah. pops, like uh, his last special special was like in the 80s, right? Yeah. And he, yeah. was, he had already solidified himself as who he was at that point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From that point to now, like has the comedy circuit in like his physical form and being around some of these environments, has that been part of your upbringing or has it been more just like you kind of being able to live more of a normal life than people so, think? So in terms of like stand-up, mm-hmm. um, I feel like that's always been a part of my life just because he's him, you know what I mean? So right. he, he no introduced me to that <laughs> like, and like I definitely like, I'm like a huge fan of like a lot of like comedians yeah. and like I'm like always like watching like the new shit. But sound like us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's all we do. Um, so you mean just in a term like culturally, you've yeah, been culturally, always just yeah, been that's yeah. definitely a part yeah. of my yeah. life. Yeah. Absolutely. It ends yeah. up being a party. Like yeah, I like for talent sure. does comedy, but none of us do. Well, Jerrica yeah. is. Stop we don't it. like to talk about it. Stop it. But yeah, okay. like I never we'll even wanted to do it, but I, I respect it and mm-hmm. appreciate it so much. So it's like I kind of I admire it from this from the perspective of knowing a lot of the ins and outs of it. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. it's incredible. I think yeah. to be able to get on stage and do that is oh, like yeah. mm-hmm. that's like an insane talent to have to be able to yeah. talk to people for like yeah, right. even 30 minutes. A 30 minute set is like fucking like two nuts. Hours, it's like so when yes, you're on to it, like yeah. hold a crowd and make them laugh and right. like not bomb for 30 minutes right. is nuts. Like, What's the longest yeah. set you've done? Crazy. Uh probably like 40 minutes. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's Caroline's. Crazy. I did 40 Is that minutes. most recent? Like, wait, your oh, birthday, yeah. Caroline's? Oh, uh, Caroline's. I did that in November last year. Remember, we oh, were trying think, to go wait, to that Did one. I go? No, I we, try, I we were trying to. I remember that. Oh, that, so. the heart, the, yeah, that was the around the time we started the pod. Like, a little before that. I was there. Did? You were there? I did go to that. Oh, shit. You did that? When it was, like, right after your uh, internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you so went to that I went. Oh, because that's the one I'm thinking about, but I didn't know you went. You didn't make it. No. I made it, though. So that was 40 minutes. Nice. Yeah. I feel like stand up is one of the last real art forms that we have, and I feel like it's like the only thing that like we could like go to a show and like see someone who like really is like established, and mm-hmm. it's just like a regular like Monday night like down the street, yeah. and, like yeah. pay like twenty dollars to like yeah. see this yeah. like real ass person. But I yeah. love that about yeah. it. Yeah, it's I love a that really about it. Cool, like Hell it's yeah. the only thing that feels like really raw and like still. That's yeah, a fact. Itself. I think me and Talent were kind of fortunate in that we both worked at you know Caroline's. No. On Broadway. Broadway. So it was like one of the big clubs in the country. It just shut down last year, but it was Mm -hmm. just like one of those places that a lot of headliners kind of build themselves to try to have like a weekend at, like, you know, um, like Tracy, JB, like, you know, most of the big guys. My dad would do like like six, seven shows. Yeah. Not really a workout material spot, but it's just a significant book in there. Yeah. And um, what you call it? Me and Talent both worked there at some point. And I feel like for me, growing up in comedy and having a certain understanding of it, a lot of the dynamics I have with like certain comics that are my friends now, like came from there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, you meet a lot did. of people when they're starting or when they're figuring it out, and I feel like you having a certain appreciation for what their life is. You know, kind of builds like these organic relationships, and I was able to just kind of appreciate what they were doing in a way I know other people can't get when other people can't get past the allure of their celebrity. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean. Cause I just like guys that are like dope at it. Like yeah. I don't give a oh, fuck yeah. who knows who you are. Yeah, you know I, mean? I like that though. And then those guys always end up making it anyway. Cause they you kind of know the ones that got that shit <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah, but that's the ones that are just having fun with it. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know? I think if you're having fun, but the money comes later. They just enjoying getting on the mic and doing. Can that I shit. just say, Jerica and I saw some of the worst stand up of our life the other night. Shane and I went to an open mic <laughs> night, and it was oh, kind of oh, because right. I didn't want to sit. In the house. And I went to Shane's house. You know, I came downstairs, made it right. Hey, girl, can I get a drink? You want to go out? And she's like, okay. And we I was go like, no. <laughs> I said, open Not mic. And she said, that might be okay, kind of fun. It was a place right up the street. So it wasn't far. We had to go far to go do this shit. What's the name of the spot? You got to shout them out. And you can't. No? I don't think I, don't I would want to do that. I don't want to say that because we have nothing positive to say. We'll have nothing. Ooh, po- I don't want to even man. flame the place like this. We have nothing positive to say. The food it's was okay, nasty. Though. It's an open mm-hmm. mic. This is where they're no, supposed the to go. No, but the food was also nasty. So it's Maybe I'm you gonna should let them know so they can do better. There. Okay. Nah. Tell, tell, tell me off mic. Tell me off mic. I tell you mic. Don't ever go there when you go to LA. God bless. So anyway, late night, Monday. What was it, Monday? Monday night, open mic. We get there. 
Oh my God. Everybody had absolutely no talent. It was the most yeah. mediocre talent show I've, I've ever seen. Yeah. Black ever. people, white people. The mic mixed. didn't even fucking Blacks. work right. Oh, that's it was why. Us. It was, it was all us. It was, it was us. They won. And they went, we, we, we went in money, though. They went like 100 bucks or something. Oh. Yeah. And Open they got contest? up there. It was somebody who sung Dream Girls. God bless. She, she sang a lot of Dream Girls. She sung a lot. She sang a lot. What is a lot of Dream Girls? Oh, so a lot variety of Dream Girls. started with, and I'm telling you. And, and she ended with listen. You. That shit. Listen. <gasps> That's the commitment. She committed. Please but the mic don't didn't sing work. that song unless you can trying, sing that song. I can't song. remember the word. I was about the to The mic didn't work. I just want y'all to know. The mic did work. not work right. It was crackly. And it had a good sound. It was her too. Yeah. It was also her too. <laughs> like, please. It was her too, but the mic also. <laughs> I was nervous every time a big note came. We said, like, I'm like, go, go ahead, girl. I kept saying, go ahead, Miss Lady. Her. She came out. And then we had two stand-ups. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it was a talent show for real. My like, God. I want to get up there and it's try to the help. Kind it of was so bad. It makes you never want to do stand up. Was it a nice spot? Was the venue cool? Or was it like <laughs> it a was, hole in no, the wall? Like it, no, it's it's all right. I'll give it a five for ambiance. For ambiance? I'll so the ambiance was three. cool, but everything else was bad. <laughs> Shane is a little <laughs> bit more mean than me. I had a <laughs> five for ambiance. It was nothing going on in there. It was dark as hell. You couldn't see. Ambiance is crazy. Own. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's what I'm they didn't even have a grass wall like a typical nice black restaurant. The spot, you know, look. they have black. You know, they have grass walls in the black restaurant. Well, they they had like, that. They, they maybe had like they had that. It might elevate the spot. They had pictures of like civil rights leaders and shit on the wall. No, no it was they, just it's like, black, black in there. Park. It's how black. You, how you know? Menu. The restaurant's black. Yeah. It's literally black. It's black. It's black. It's the black is in the name. Also, I will give you that. Black is in the name. The name of the bar is called Black People. Close, like in hall, really like close. <laughs> oh, we don't want to say the name. I we don't want to say, say the name. name. You right, cool, cool, cool. on the money yeah. a little bit. But what's, what's the worst joke y'all heard? I don't even know what the nigga said. He said he started going into like LGBTQ. Stuff. Oh, he definitely did. And we were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What oh, he, he brave. Do? What you about to do? I don't, I don't got remember that what nuance, the joke yeah. was. I don't know the joke, but I remember <laughs> but being like, the mm. host was definitely a part oh. of that community, and she just flamed him after that. And oh. she was funny. I ain't gonna lie. She flamed him, and, and I did laugh. Hilarious. I cackled yeah. for the first time. So that was like the only highlight. The only yeah, a highlight. Only I don't highlight. remember. And then the, this this really sent me because the nigga who won last week came in sure like he was hot shit. Yes. He came and walked the door. They said, "Oh, look, the winner from last week." Is so and so. Oh, they was feeling they so. I hope he wasn't doing an original song because it was not I'd good. I've never heard it before. It probably <laughs> was. He had a little dance he was no. doing, and I was oh, like, "What's happening?" Why are you coming in as the community celebrity at this open mic night? He man, walked in like hot shit. I'm need, not kidding man. y'all. You just gotta feel good in one spot. He had, and he got up there and <laughs> did this shit again. He ran it back. He had mm-hmm. encore. Let me get up in here and do it again. I won a hundred dollars last week. Yo, bro, show y'all shit. You a comic? Does it get you tight seeing like a bunch of whack comics in a row? Like, do you ever be like, yo, why y'all doing this? I'm glad I'm glad you asked me that. Um, <laughs> I'm, glad, this I'm glad, I'm glad. Because I've actually, I love when I see people bomb. Mm. Really? I love it because it's just a reminder, like, this shit is not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Simple as that. It's like, that's fair. I'm like, Refreshing. all right, bet. So I'm doing something that's like. Not that easy, to, you know, to accomplish. So it just right. makes me feel a little bit better sometimes. Yeah. But I also like to see somebody like climb out of a bomb. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like a comic that you know they just having like a rough night. Right. But they bombing, but they end up, you know, they get the audience back and they end on a good note. I like to see that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a little mini yeah. hero's journey. I mean, every comic a bomb, right? Like, yeah. I mean, anybody that's just something that comes yeah. to territory. You perform yeah. in different spaces and everything. Mm-hmm. I just mean just knowing niggas ain't built for it. You know what yeah. I mean? I feel like there's certain spots that it's I feel hilarious. Like, I love watching yeah. a, a good bomb. Because I see it, bro. And Have you the most before? arrogant niggas. Of course. How to make you I feel? Would throw it. Oh my you want to <laughs> jump off? You want to jump off a bridge? About it? I literally have like nightmares about yeah. just like my jokes not landing with my friends. And I, I can imagine like, you I'm probably. Like that too. On stage, I know y'all crazy. get it more than I mean. You actually do comedy, but I know y'all get it like I do. Probably way more with people ask you all the time. You ever thought about it? Oh, oh everybody asks me all the time. Yeah. It's yeah. just weird that people. My little sister's like, I think you should do it. You would like, be funny though. I think you would be. I funny. can't. You know, I can't get on stage. But you got jokes that land. I got a lot of jokes that land, but I can't. I always say she's funny. 
I can't. I, think I, I just fuck- don't like talking, like public speaking, yeah, yeah. all that shit. Be that if I start thinking me. for like ten seconds, well, you because you cool perform stuff. Yeah, he does, right. He does music, so he perform. Okay. Yeah, so it is like a natural yeah. acclimation to that. But I think with comedy specifically, that's why I'm so shocked that you like went for it. Why I respect it so much because it's I know too much of the behind the scenes. Right. Like, I just seen too much of like how hard that shit is. I know it's not just oh that nigga funny. You should do stand up. I hear people say that all the time, yeah. and I know that don't mean shit. Yeah, because you know it comes I mean? down to writing the actual joke. Yeah, I might yeah. be funny as hell yeah. in my friend group, but can I translate that Fetch. to the stage? The amount of sets you have to yes. do, you know, the it's amount of time much. it takes to grind, the timing, the delivery, the delivery. The it has to make sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. learning the community. Of, right. You know what I mean, of, I don't know. You know, but this would be different. cute though, because there's no bad bitch comedians. It's hard. There's I'm no Shane. bad OC. Oh, so, right, so you can't say that. Here. I'm saying no, we, we got blame. We got blame. Yeah, Who's cute? we keeping this in too. <laughs> Who's cute, dog? Keep it a buck. <laughs> no, come on. Who is a fire cute? cute women and comedian? We don't bang with Leslie Jones now. <laughs> Oh nah, my God! His, yeah. his dad hates <laughs> Leslie Jones. His dad hates Leslie Jones. Yes, in the entire episode, episode. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about it later. But, but look, <laughs> no. honestly, it's as when you're um, a woman in comedy, it's harder. I just feel like it's harder to be funny with the more when beautiful pretty, you are. Yeah, it just comes down to like who had to be funny in life, right? The ugly girl. Fair. Or the beautiful girl. That's you know fair, what I'm saying? so maybe that's why. He might be right. They say a lot, actually, that like your pops. Like, Whenever I see a bad comedian, like a girl that's bad, yeah. I'm like, oh, damn, she's about to be not funny. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, anticipate like, like, You see the fatty, no, like, ah, oh, no, she was oh, no, so evil. Oh, no, no, there's definitely exceptions to the rule. That's just the first one that came to mind. Eva, who? Eva Evans. Eva Evans. Like she's, she's, she's yeah, she's attract. She's like a, what you what's the right way to say? She's like traditionally attractive, and I think people know that. But she's mm-hmm. also funny as fuck. Yes, and she's, she's also been funny. grinded a certain way. And I think that the way that and even her, she has to dress a certain way when she goes on stage. Yeah. What she dress like? You know that she like oh, I usually see her like ball cap. Yeah. Jeans, kind of yeah, and she has to play it a certain way because niggas is already gonna you know be trying saying? to. Eva Evans, yeah, comedy. But I bring it up right because um, like I was about to say about like your pops, yep. I think is accredited a lot with giving like comedians being a baddie on a certain no, level, no. having <laughs> being a baddie, <laughs> male version, oh, but being fly like the leather, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 like fly. Kev. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a comic do like a leather jacket on stage and not say that it was like raw delirious that inspired yeah, yeah. him right. to do that, right? So I feel like a lot of times I've heard it expressed. In private circles and publicly on other podcasts, you know, interviews and shit, where comics have said that they feel like trying to look too good or being too attractive is almost to the detriment of the. It is anything you wearing that's distracting, like yeah. if a guy, like you wearing like some like uh, a sparkly jacket, you know, it just yeah. yeah. I disagree. I feel you like if so? you're yeah. funny, you're funny, and yeah. it's gonna hit every time. Yeah, my dad, I've heard that. My dad really funny. It doesn't matter what you yeah. wear. Cat Williams oh, last special, that fit was she disgusting, bro. <laughs> He be wearing big outfits though, right? Oh yeah, she's cute. She's cute. We like her. We see her. I see. She said she'd be going on there with a ball cap. I ain't never seen that, but I can. You know, she won't. She not. It's like she's not gonna come up there with a tight dress on. You know what I mean? She dressed like a dude. I'm just saying, like when you do comedy, I feel like most girls that do comedy, they try to play. Either the some try to play it up. I don't think that works out because it's just just it's mostly men in the audience usually. They distracted. The women you want people to listen to what you're saying, but it's just harder you know how to be a baddie. Hear, I think on the it's hard DM. to be a woman in comedy. Period. Oh, I feel period. Like no yeah. hard, what yeah. they always like are like the most hated, and I'm like, mm-hmm. what's going on? Does Facts. it seem unjustified to you though? Do you? Who's your favorite female comic? And who's your favorite like? Male? I we don't ask you about Mount Rushmore at the end. No, I think that like female comedians are funny, but I think they get a lot more hate than is like justified. Right. Yeah. Like Amy Schumer is not my favorite. Yeah. Comedian, but like the way that like people like <laughs> you see that, right? People hate her, and I'm like, what is she doing? I don't hate her, but like, I don't hate her. or like Tiffany she, Haddish, the, like she's not my favorite comedian, but like but it's for someone. Yeah, people yeah. It might not be for me, but it's for and someone. And I'm like, why do you guys hate her so much? Well, we had the conversation. Like, it gets so negative. Tiffany when it Haddish be wild and as a lady, <laughs> she's like, been wild. Sometimes she do, but like, she's not just that funny all the time. But when she first came out. People loved it. It was something else yeah. that nobody else was doing what she was doing. I think sometimes it's, it's like comedy. the personality of the person wins because I think people like Tip as a person. And I do too. You know, yeah, but she's I really just, sweet. Yeah, she, I saw my pops did something at the Barclay. It was one of them Rip Michael like wilding out shows to get a bunch of people. She do and, be outside in the yeah, community a lot. I will did, say that. Tiff was on that set, but she like came out and her first three minutes was like some song. 
that she mm-hmm. wanted to try and the song wasn't hitting. She, song she, sung? she opened with a she rap song. Rapping. She was, she was rapping. rapping. She was performing. I mean, just just keeping it real. And what I love Tiff. I really about? do. Like personally, I love Tiff. <laughs> what um, was the I, song I, about? I couldn't tell Chase you. Chase dream. I couldn't man. tell you. It just yeah. And I'm like, I, I'm not mad at it. But Sometimes you don't. That need ain't to what say I'm that. here for. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Chase your dreams, bro. <laughs> Chase your dreams. And and, and she started a label. Closing with it. <laughs> Open it with it though. Yeah, no, it's that's crazy. not it. Don't close with it either. Well, like, yo, I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna do this new song hard. before the I get crowd. out of here. That's how you gotta. The crowd ain't yeah. fuck with it. My thing is this. They I'm just not there. with the idea of giving out handicaps to people just based on the idea of like equality as opposed to having real conversations about it. Because like I said, I think some more is dope. We talking yeah. about baddies though. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's like uh, Uncle Oh, uh, We got Wanda you know, Sykes. Uncle, you you said that. You said they ain't no baddies. She basically said everybody ugly. So you counting? I didn't. Say they were ugly. I didn't say she was ugly. I said there's no like oh, fire, like you know. Fatty. Yeah. They, but, but you know what I'm saying? They go home and yeah, they think they look in the mirror and they go, "I am a ten." Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all are wild way more than me. I'm saying, but they go home and think they a ten. We also are gonna get smoked on like Instagram that. for this conversation. Talent again. gonna get smoked. You don't Wait, want that be nah, this is just about baddies and comedy. No, we're gonna this have people that like, women comedians gonna hit our shit and be like, I think I'm a ten, and then we're gonna you gonna get in an argument again. Not, but it's not even like that. Comedian. It's not even like that. But it, <laughs> when she <laughs> when she says it though, she's talking about like the upper echelon of you know. A list comedian, yeah. Uh-huh. And I just I'm think just this like, man comics funnier than Amy Schumer. Like, I, and no disrespect oh, yeah. to her, but it's like I'm not gonna get throw yeah. you like an extra, you know, what I'm saying point because. But she's like, yeah. the but most I think one of the most famous comedians. Like, yeah. I don't think they're funny and like leave it. I feel like people go like, oh fuck her, like she's so gross. Yeah, but like, that's weirdos. Like, that's the internet. So like, that's, that's also the internet. Yeah, yeah. That's not even legitimate points. So I'm yeah. saying if you could articulate how you feel about something, I could respect how you feel, even if I feel otherwise. Internet just be hating on anything women do that looks yeah. empowered. Oh, like niggas is that's just like a lot of male insecurity. It's never even women with that. You know what I'm saying? Unless there's like some, you know, some other shit that don't got nothing to do with me. But <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't I just don't really think that there are any women comics that I love on the level of the, of a good amount of men that I'm aware of and maybe it's just my awareness of comedy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I just genuinely don't have any. I feel. I get excited every time Ali Wong puts out a special. Ali Wong is dope. She's, she's there could be also amazing. relatability Michelle at the same Wolf time. We said Michelle that before. Niggas said that that I'm yeah. glad you said it. Because like niggas mad at us because she white. Yeah, we really? got in trouble yeah. on the internet with yeah. the Michelle Wolf. I thought and Michelle was. You, know, you, you, you wouldn't from. know enough to know like what she does, like who she is, like the, the way she performs, the time she yeah, put in. You know what I'm saying? Very funny. Yeah, people don't know. Really? I thought Michelle Wolf was just a light skinned black woman. I also That's thought hilarious. she could get that thing. But she could get that off. I, I thought she was, though. That's Me facts. also, too. So when they was like, oh, she white, I was like, oh, she white? Ooh, <laughs> we got looking this shit up. Really? Oh. Funny. Shane, I, I got know. more for you. All right. Yeah. This is something I thought about earlier. So Nick Cannon got mad kids. Yes. Your pops got mad kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people, I think, outside looking in, I think that the way that I understand, you know, different. You know, once you're in different tax brackets or you live in a certain way or whatever, I think that a lot of people's understanding of people having too many kids to parent them accordingly probably comes from a place of like not understanding how certain people can make that time based on how their lives function. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you feel, because all of y'all, from what I do see, you know, I, mean, I ain't stalking y'all, but I've like through time, you know, like seen like the grams of different people, different comedians, families and such. And y'all, y'all seem like y'all all have a great relationship mm-hmm. as a family. Outside looking in. Yeah. Um, do you feel with having, it's 10 of y'all, right? So you got to think about it. See, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. And Nick that. got what, 11? I don't know. Nick got yeah. 11. <laughs> see, he did all, see, Nick did all his at the same time. That's a little crazy. And he got grown kids. Yeah. Like, they Nick was that. running around the community. But do you feel like you um had time with your dad and that do you feel like you and your siblings that y'all feel like y'all were parenting? Yeah. I feel like I always know where my dad is. And yeah. if I need him, I know that I can reach him like mm-hmm. at any time. He's... Like the reason that he works as hard as he does is like literally for the family and right. like just to like spend time with the family and yeah. mm-hmm. to have time to just like be around. Like his favorite thing is just to like be at home and like be around us. So, twelve. So Nick had twelve. Damn. Dang. Did he just have more? Yeah. <laughs> no, because on the show they said ten. Twelve minutes ago. Nigga. Like literally <laughs> on the show, the clue I was thought, ten kids. Yeah. You know that nigga be working. <laughs> he don't stop. That's wild. It's, it's like stop. one. It's like how many baby mamas he got? Seven. Some of them are. He, he has back. two at one. Oh, Mariah, he, run two of them he runs there. it back. And mm-hmm. when you think that he's it's always, like a couple of them. that's always been apparent to you. Like you've just known that. Like he's just made it clear to you, like through how he's like raised you and loved you. Type yeah. Thing, you know? 
Yeah, I think that gets lost to a lot of people. You know, I think mm -hmm. there's no specific parameter you could put on how to parent. Right. So we all children of comedians. Yes. Um, you chose music route for your passion. Yeah. Um, management. Business. Business management. You chose that route. Yes. I, um, I think maybe for the longest, I I kind of purposely did not want to do stand-up comedy just because I didn't mm -hmm. want to be a follower. Right. You know what I mean? That. That's, That's how I feel, I just don't want to be like, yeah. oh, because my dad do this. I, I, I I'm going to follow my dad. It's a different kind of pressure, too. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It has to They're be. always going to compare. Yeah. 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 And, and you have his name. You talk about that all the time. Yeah, yeah. he has the same name Can't as his run. dad, by the way. And, and his dad's it. name? His dad's name is Talent, but his real name is what? James. James. James, but that's his stage name, but he named him after the stage name, so he literally can't. His name is really Talent. Yeah. It's crazy. So I ended up just doing comedy just because i don't know it was just like mm -hmm. in my blood or something you started with music though right you yeah were, i started yeah, with music yeah, first were, were, but i was just always just like writing jokes at work you know mm -hmm. what i mean just always writing bits in my head yeah. and i always felt like if i didn't pursue it at least try to do it you know mm -hmm. what i mean i wouldn't be happy with myself right yeah. mm -hmm. so i say that to say this uh what is your passion in life like, like everything everything mm -hmm. yeah i like a little bit of everything but i also like to chill you yeah. know what i mean so like yeah i feel like i've just like dabble in a lot of different things and i'm like mm -hmm. trying to like i try different things you know yeah. Yeah. really into food really into fashion and entertainment but i feel like i need to be more in like a writer's room you know i'm more yeah. of like a behind the scenes person mm -hmm. when it comes mm -hmm. to that yeah but, yeah, I feel like everything and nothing is my thing. Like, I just want to chill. I, like that sometimes too. I think a lot of us. That's do. why I think I've been yeah. like hanging out with because I feel like yeah. sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah. she likes me for real. <laughs> like, I'm like, dang, I don't yeah. know what I ever want to do either. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I do management because I'm good at it, but I don't think I like I want to do that for a long time. Right. I just do it and I'm like, I learn and kind of run with it. Yeah. But I don't think that's like my forever thing. I like yeah. dabbling yeah. in a bunch of other shit. Especially these I mean, days, you can realistically right now. do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can like, realistically you jump know? to a bunch of bags. What the information is yeah. accessible to yeah. you. you but I think I mean? my like first real passion is definitely like writing. Like Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. That was the same for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. ever, love we, writing, love reading. That so. might even be a parallel because I think for me I got into music because I know I didn't want to do comedy, but I saw mm -hmm. so much of the writing shit, like with my mm -hmm. pops and like yeah. the world of what they do. And yeah. knowing that writing isn't even just one thing, like Kurt. Like how so much of that is like like improv. Writing oh, is a yeah. part of that. Right. It's like you give an outline, but yeah, yeah it's writing much is more improv. of a concept than a literal act. I think of doing it, and right. I think yeah. in understanding that coming up in it, yeah, it left me with a little incentive too because I love behind the scenes shit. Yeah. As time goes on, I kind of lean more into that. Yeah. You know, because I know I can do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah, have like same. all the means. The network is there, and I enjoy the world of it because, right. you know, understanding. Yeah. Of it. No, I think my like. Ideally, it's always been like to like write a book that gets turned into a movie. That's About always what? been like that. my biggest thing, like a fantasy, like a J.K. Rowling. Break it down. Like that I know you like, got ideas. That's like amazing. Break I got, it down. Like, so you think it's like ideas? Yeah, yeah. I got black some magic ideas. Elevator pitch. Let's go. Like Give that. me one. I no, know you I got can't. one. Because like <laughs> I'll be having I'm working ideas on. and I build up pieces of them you in my head. Like I'll pitch them to you. Oh man, I'm gonna So you want to take the novel route? Yeah, for sure. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like my writing style is more like that's how I write. I don't like I like uh like reading scripts and stuff, but that's just like not how I. You don't that's write. Not how my it's brain works in script form, mm -hmm. so you rather have somebody else adapt yeah. your novel. Yeah, that that's, would be oh, like nice. the dream for me. I love that. But I just be sleep on myself. I need to just like, you know, yeah. do it. Yeah, it's possible though. You just gotta. Yeah. I did Google gotta, Libra. Y'all want to hear what they what Google says oh, about y'all? What did you say? Google Libra negative traits. I'll show you. I'll show and you. Also, where, where was, recite your sources, sir. Google? No. You guys Google heard of that place, right? Google horoscope? Google is not the source. <laughs> the article you about okay, to read all right. is the it source. It says Times. Time what? Time what? It says Times of India. Okay, all secrets. In India? Why did you pick that source, dog? It was the first one. <laughs> okay, I typed it. Why did you say Google was the source? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, Google like, Google, I Googled, you know that. That. I Googled Libra traits, yeah. and this is the first, you know, when they put the little Top paragraph, result. the first yeah. Google paragraph that comes up? Yeah. Yeah. I read, it. read it real quick. Go ahead. Do you want me to read yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Right. I trust the India Times. Do you? It says Librans. Librans. That's what they call you, Librans. Librans are extroverted, cozy, and friendly people. Yeah. Well, Librans okay. not extroverted. like the scales that symbolize the sign the are often concerned with attaining balance, harmony, peace, and justice in the world. Okay. With their vast stores of charm, intelligence, frankness, 
persuasion, mm. and oh, seamless yeah. connectivity, mm. they are very well equipped to do so. Hello. Jerry could text you. You, you right? guys think that's accurate for you guys? Yeah. He said Jerry could text you that. He texts you that shit. You know, I actually write for the time. Persuasion. I think that's pretty spot on. <laughs> I heard nothing wrong yeah. with that. What's wrong with persuasion? I didn't say All it was negative. I was just trying to learn about along. Librans. You hear the justice? We want everybody yes. to be fair. Yeah. I got to hear both sides of the story mm-hmm. to make a decision. I don't just be picking somebody's. Persuasion can't be always bad. Yeah. You could persuade people to do good shit. We're good. Like, yeah, who do? Let's who, meet who? in the middle. I think people. Yeah. I do. Together. I will say. I will say people think we're indecisive, but I always just want to make the right choice the first time. Shane did just say she don't know what she really want to do, though. Mm. We I are. I know. What did I say? We want to make the right choice the first time. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Taking the out of it. Yeah, fence riders. Fence riders. Fence sounds riders fun. sounds crazy, but that's, yes. That sounds crazy. That yes, but yes, I am a fence, fence rider. rider. Is crazy. Um, I won't think I'll ever use that to describe myself, word. but that is what. Fence riding. <laughs> yeah, I have a hard time picking a lane. But then I, mean, I had a really good boss. I used to work at UTA, and he told me, because he grew up, and he said, I had a hard time trying to fit myself in a box. And I told him, I was like, well, I want to do this. I want to do that. He was like, don't let anybody put you in a box. Life is long. It's meant to be lived. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Yeah. He was like, because I, I he did, picked yeah. one lane and he was like, I wish I did more stuff. And now in his older years, he's doing a lot of different things that yeah. making yeah. him happy. So yeah. I told him, I was like, yeah, you know, I struggle because I'm just like, I want to do like 10 different things. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, just do them all. That's what Find a way to do them all. Me. She yeah. was like, I see all of these things for you. Yeah. Like, oh, you just got to do them all. Bet. Life is long. Yeah. You just yeah. something. She's going to get it. I mean, it's so true, man. I feel like a lot of people limit themselves to the things that they do based on an old school kind of idea of practicality. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? And it's like, yo, if you say that you do all these things, people are going to perceive you like you're too scattered to be serious about any given thing. Right. And I think that means people abandon their plans when it start getting hard because right. they interpret like that difficulty is this is the moment when I'm supposed to realize I'm bugging. Right. Like I'm doing too much as opposed to sticking to it. If you actually, if you actually put the work in, man, or like t- taking the information, everybody has access to the information. You know, right. you could get whatever kind of regular job you could save bread. You know what I mean? It's just, there's ways to do it. I just think that the idea of discipline is lost a lot in this era because you see the results of things way quicker than you see. You see way more of the results than you see of people. The instant working. gratification, yeah. that's yeah. what everybody wants. Yeah. Well, that's Absolutely. like our generation right. feels like we just deserve everything really yeah. quick. It's a little bit different than yeah. our dad's generation. I do deserve so. everything. <laughs> I mean, we do deserve myself, everything. But I work for myself. And I have we no are, issue with working. Yeah. Yeah, I've been around workers. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. If I got to put workers. a little bit of nepotism in that shit to give me another hand up, I'm going to take that yeah. shit. Yeah. Right, that's bro. what we do it for. Bronny right. James. You know what I mean? Right. Bronny James. Bronny. What do you think about nepotism? Because we had that conversation in a different episode where we're like, is it bad? No, Do you feel like it's I cool? I love it. That one I mean, our show, Claim to Fame, is literally about nepotism. I think that if you're black, <laughs> it is. We don't need to have this conversation. I feel like that's yeah. fine. Yeah, we get it. Nepotism doesn't count for it's black people. Fine. Hell yeah. It yeah. Who cares? White you people don't even been think helping about each other for years. White people, right. And it's a problem we don't. Now It's so ingrained in who they are socially. Yeah. And it's not a knock, but it's like there's so many people that are just existing off of their privilege without understanding yes. like the but, things you can do on the day to day. And so when we have some like rich niggas and we have so many that aren't, it's just the ones that are doing better. It's like that crabs in a barrel thing comes in a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like, nah, you got to appreciate that. Because if with Whatever I got, my kids is getting complete yeah. access. I feel like everybody what helps for? their people. Just yeah. some people are able to help a little bit more. Yeah, right. A little bit more. Yeah. I mean, uh, just be by. cool to everybody. Yes. I don't re- I don't like anybody oh, who right. allows what they have access to. I don't to think to, people to realize like when it comes to Hollywood at least mm-hmm. and like nepo nepo babies. Like nepo babies. you can like get in the room, but for you to stay in the room, you still yeah. have to have talent. They're gonna right. they'll meet you. Yeah. But yeah. you're not gonna <laughs> stick around yeah. if you're just that person's you kid. Will well, right. welcome. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah. It's just like even that person, whoever the relative is, might not be hot all the time. Right. You know what I mean? So you can only lean on that so far yeah. i mean at uta when i got the job i mean my dad my dad was a client at the time and when i got the job i still had to work my ass off i started in the mail room i was yeah. passing out mail yeah i was 26 years old passing out mail i already had yeah. worked i already had a job i had to go down step take a step back my dad's a client i started in the mail room yeah. Oh, yeah. walking i was in the mail room for about six months and you appreciate the acumen you get out i had of that fun thing. i had yeah, fun yeah, i had a good that. time you right. know yeah. um i did a lot of networking i All got right. to know a lot of people in the building but i actually worked hard to get where i was that's facts. So I mean, got me in a room, I but then like let me keep help me keep the job. A lot more unfair things in this world that like people could be she upset about. about. Yeah, and nepotism. I'm still of people Hello. helping their children. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who cares? how dare you? Yo? It's so weird. But <laughs> it goes back my to my children. argument. If my dad is a shoemaker and we got Johnson Shoemaker yeah. Company, 
I might also be a shoemaker. Yeah. yeah my dad exactly. might teach me the trade. Exactly. Then I'll the exactly. work at the barber shop. Right. They only right. just think about yeah. the Hollywood yes. stuff or like super rich yeah. kids. But it's kid, people, middle class that do it too. Yeah. It's just, you know. Yeah, I think consumer more, It just comes back yeah. down to jealousy. Word. When you're in well, entertainment and media, that consumer perspective, there's just so many walls of like that ladder that you climb to have a certain level of success in entertainment that people will never understand. And yeah, that's why people course. jump behind the ideas of conspiracy so quickly and shit because they can't fathom what the actual process may be. Right. So I feel like if you're in that position, you just can't trip over it. You know, I just think you just got to count your blessings that, you know, you're fortunate enough to have, you know, the means to do what you want to do and just know people going to hate. These niggas just don't understand that shit. And with the internet, you always have a community of haters that that yeah. gravitate to you at some well, point. Well, that's like most of the internet at this point. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, yeah. they were smoking me and Shane. Every they week. were smoking, yeah. How? Every week. Every week they were smoking us on they Twitter. Wilding? They did not mm. like us. You were searching your name? Oh, every week I had the Monday Scaries. <laughs> I would Google and search that. Twitter for the next three days. That's not good for your mental shit. I have it's terrible anxiety not every good. Monday. That's not good what for you. What they were saying though? I mean, y'all wasn't doing that. Hate that either. bitch Monet. She need to get the fuck out the house. Like that? Like, yeah, it was what I did. Can't talk, but I you see, like, you can't even chill because, like, who can take that serious? How do you feel like that about something you watched on TV? You don't know these people. They you don't know. got nothing to do with your real life. I know, but it was so interesting. Yeah, it was weird. You but they that. feel like they're watching like you, a movie. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, like, right. It yeah, sounds yeah. easy to ignore, but you seeing two million people yeah. are watching us every yeah. week. Two million people. Yeah. And some, I guess, one percent of them would get on Twitter and be like, be "Fucking bad. hate Monet and Shane. Them bitches is a gang. They be like, they so mean. And they like fifty likes, retweets, and everything. You're like, huh? Nah, it's facts. What's going it's on? You know what I don't before? You know what I don't before? I was like, I was bullied the whole time I was there. <laughs> they said we was being mean. Yes. That's crazy. I was, I was being like, myself. Was yeah, no, nah, I don't like, because I don't, I don't like why niggas, I don't know, man. I feel like if, if the only way I could take negative criticism serious is if you give it to me one on one. Because I feel like you're really fair. trying to have a conversation. Like, you're really trying to, like, give some Help. type of, like, positive. Yeah, right. I think anytime in front it's public, of you're aware enough. Because I always think about that. If I ever thought it's I'm not going to put it in your comment section. Yeah, that's fair. I'll be putting up polls sometimes when I got like a song. Like, if I come out the studio and I like want to throw something up, see how people feel. I'll be mm-hmm. like, "Yo, y'all fucking with this?" And then I'll be, you know, put like for one part of the poll, I'll be like, "Yo, this shit hard." The other one would be like, "Hang it up." But that for me be a joke. If somebody so, like, like if I put it, something up, if somebody clicked that shit, it's like I feel yeah. that shit. I'm like, "Yo." You yeah, see? Why would you like yeah, that? I hit a nigga up though. I hit everybody up though. I'm like, like yo, you really was supposed to be my man like too. So I'm like, yo, even if you feel like that, and these are the whole my phone. Yeah, it was an accident. It's yeah, is it it's an like, accident? yo, why? Like, bro, but there's always somebody who's just gonna feel inclined to do that shit. Right. You know so what I mean? imagine like, yeah. somebody always gotta go against the Fifty people on Twitter. Fuck Monet. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, but Can't wait to get her ass out the night. house. All right, we got to get to your Mount Rushmore, right? Wait, no, we got to talk about the party. I know, that's what I'm about to say, because we got to get to that. So I want to get to the party, party now. Yeah. So they met so, Shane yesterday, because yeah, yeah. it was my birthday. Yeah. The big 3-0. I met I have, Shane a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, I met you at yeah. the just kidding. podcast party. Me and Lee, yeah, we met. Yeah, it worked. Oh, um, oh, the mixer for Nino. Shout out to Savon and them. Savon was there last night. So tell your first time meeting Shane was yesterday. I actually didn't get a chance to meet her. Oh, just kidding. I'm just making up stories at this point. <laughs> She's just disrespectful. Sorry. Um, I, it was my fault. I probably didn't it's, introduce it's y'all. It's okay. It's uh, all right. I seen her there. <laughs> it was a lot going on yesterday. I seen her. Uh, it was my a birthday lot going was yesterday. this weekend, the big 3 0. So I threw a party. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we had a good time. Now I'm officially a part of the old man club with these two Negroes. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's crazy. You know, That's still the wild. youngest. I'm in, you know, I'm That's the baby of the 30s. So I get to kind of fuck up a little bit. You sleepy yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm been tired for the past few years, I'm going to lie. I'm a sleepy girl. I come here and drink my little yerba mate because I be sleepy. No free ads. Cut that. I'm sorry, cut that. No free ads. I just drink my tea, my, my caffeinated tea, iced tea, not yerba mate at all. There's that JB juice. <laughs> JB smooth tea. Get that sponsorship um, first, then we can show <laughs> Um Yeah, I'm always tired, but... I hope I don't get more tired. That's what I'm about. But anyway, we had a good time at the party. Yeah. Oh, no, what, you got, what you got? That shit was lit. I ain't never seen Jericho like that. All right, so Jericho is shaking ass like in every room, right? Every, in front of every, grandma, I too. Ain't ever <laughs> so my shit is this. I know Jericho grown, but you got to keep in mind. I go back to like, you know, what you call this shit where you got the, the circle bubbles. shit? The, the bubbles. Bowl, the, bu- the bubbles. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. So it's like, as we've grown up, I've come to respect as a woman. And, you know, that just happens organically with time. But certain people, you got certain relationships with you just don't see in every environment. Yeah. And that shit was I'm dead. She was going. Di- she like, was, nah, like, she, she was, was dirty stupid. One. She had a girl up there on the couch with her, yeah. shaking ass. Then I go to the next room. I'm like, I think I'm going to get a drink real quick. 
shaking ass. Then I see her pops, like, you on the mic, like, you know, like talking about, yo, this is my baby girl, I love her. She got her the Van Cleef shit. I'm like, yo, that shit hard, right? I turn back around, right. shaking ass. It was crazy, bro. But it was, but it was dope to see, because I love that, um, you're in a space now in your life, but you could truly embrace like how you celebrate who you are. You could be around yes. your people, your family. You ain't hurting nobody. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna hurt nobody. Yeah, but you got to think about family brand in certain in certain shit or certain things. It could just make yeah. a little bit of the process of getting older. I think frustrating. So it's dope to see you kind of in like a liberated space now. Yeah. You know, like, I'm sure my dad hated every moment of that. Yeah. I, was I was waiting like, for him to say something on the he mic. He didn't say nothing. He said, he oh my nothing. goodness, at one point. I said, <laughs> he yeah. He yeah. yeah. little better. It was but you know, I was in a space I'm comfortable with my friends and my family. People yeah. who were there like support me, love me. So JB did like five minutes on the mic. No, <laughs> I, I want y'all to know my dad said, I said, daddy, you want to host a party? I want y'all to know I also planned that party in three days. Oh, five. Three days. Damn. I had the idea, but I didn't book that place that? till Thursday. Damn. And the party was Sunday. I had three days. Fire. Um, I asked my dad, so you want to host? Because he hosted my Sweet 16. I don't think y'all came to that. I don't know. I don't think so. That was I obviously it was in LA? a couple years ago. No, I was here. I lived. In, I went to Whiteboard I, I don't even know if I know you. Well, yes, we did know each other. 16? Yes. I definitely, I mean, I, I don't you. know if I was there. If I was, I don't know. You didn't come. I don't think I was there. Anyway, I he hosted you, my Sweet 16. <laughs> so I said, Dad, you want to run it back 14 years later at the 30th birthday? Hey. He going to say, No. I want to have a good time. I'm not trying to host. I'm gonna have a good time, okay? I'm dead. I just want to. I want to hang out. I'm gonna be working the whole That's night. That's the funny thing because he, can't he help has himself. fun when he's doing. I, I can see that nigga it. was having a he ball, was having the bro. Best time of his life. Hosting nigga that doing bits. He was like, man. she asked me, uh, uh, <laughs> she sent me the link. I'm like, damn. <laughs> oh, damn right man, that out of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody started laughing. Yeah. He's like, yo, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> It's the next special. You right see what I'm saying? Was working he out lived, material. He loves shit. that. I'm like, you love being behind the mic. I'm yeah. like, just just feed into that, sir. You don't even got to pretend. Nigga was doing bad work. Caribbean accents. He on got there. bad he was Caribbean accents. Fun. He did an Asian oh, accent at one point. I said, yeah. stop doing that. What and are he was doing? working a room. Most he was, but he's good at it. I'm yeah. like, if that's yeah. your thing. Yeah, you and host. it was for you. Like it's a different of kind of feeling. You know what I mean? I said, I looked at him. I said, you can't even help yourself. He got to get on that damn mic. He was having so much fun. So many videos. So many videos of him dancing. He was having a blast it was his he party was too dancing. that's what it was yeah. my dad was dancing mm -hmm. giving it up yeah. <laughs> giving it up so that was a fun time yeah. thank y'all for coming shane flew all the way out here for that yeah. that's fun oh, that's you, had, you had fun that's I my did. girl i had yeah. so much fun what's your vibe like what do you do for fun because Jericho was um going stupid you know, some of your girls is going stupid you seem like you was kind of like laid back you see like, the video shane like Jamie's hyping me up. Jamie's doing like uh, them fly girl videos. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the selfies. So you, like, I'm here. I'll be there. I ain't see. I ain't see. I'll be there. No, I ain't see. You went we on yeah. Saturday. Shane was yeah, twerking on the wall. I seen some of the Saturday. What happened to your phone? Your phone got fucked up? You yeah. was wilding? Oh, my, no. It wasn't even that. Apple, Apple Apple fucked me over with the new update. Oh, and damn. my phone blacked out three times last week. That's and the when third time. I to get the new phone. That shit blacked out and did turn on on my birthday. Oh, People were yeah. calling me like, I didn't yeah, hear from you. Yeah, we were seeing you up like, happy birthday. I didn't get no get phone. Nothing. She nothing. Everybody was like, oh, I thought it's so weird. You didn't, re you didn't respond to me. Yeah, I was like, no, my phone dead. blacked out. Yeah, Karen So I got a brand new phone on Saturday on my birthday. I had no phone for seven hours straight. Damn. But then we, but we went Everything out Everything worked out, though. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, I saw it in everybody else's story. But Shane be lit. Yeah, I be lit. Yeah. She be lit as hell. She, be, mm -hmm. she matched the energy. All right. Mm -hmm. What's your vibe, though? What are you, what are you into like socially or when you go out? I feel like going out in LA is not really my vibe. So yeah. when I'm like here or like out of town anywhere else, it's like Fun. it's better for me. Yeah, but just kind of getting out of yeah. here. Right? Yeah. LA just we did a Vegas trip. Like a club oh yeah, we got to skip over Dang. the album. That's how crazy that trip was. Yeah, Vegas is a different kind of place. That album too. was nuts. We, the yeah. pictures, the videos, we was like, hey, let's not look at this shit oh, gosh, ever yeah. again. Because <laughs> <laughs> why was we acting like that? <laughs> no, that's why. Twenty nine years old, shaking ass. On the, doing cartwheels and that's shit. What, that's what it's about, though. I love your life. <laughs> What's right, your name? So we have this. Y'all want to get into the, um, the rush more? Yeah. All right, wow. cool. So we, we have this question we ask every guest that we have. Everybody. Um, at the end, where we ask, what's your comedian or your comedy Mount Rushmore? Mm -hmm. So wow. your four, four personal favorites. They don't got to be the best of all time. <laughs> Uh, you know, critically, I feel like when people think like that, it just feels like a lot of pressure. Just who mm -hmm. you like and the reasons why. Like your four go-tos. And you can't <laughs> possibly fuck up because Jerrica put Dan Cook on hers. Shut up. Can we talk <laughs> so about it? Can we talk like, about it, please? It's not like, I'm you know, why it's you, not why like you a bad me? record. Nah, it's not him. bad. No. I saw him and it was so bad. No, it's all good. No, I don't want to take it back. Because it was <laughs> terrible. I'm going to say. And I paid to see it. I'll say Richard Pryor, Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy. 
You can't, you can't put you your can't dad on there. Yeah. Like, I should yeah. put him third, too. Like, it was low. You can't do You can't do that. You can't do that. No, 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 Okay, no, no dad. Okay. No dad. Richard Pryor, Dave Chappelle. Um, who do I like right now? I'll do right now yeah, instead yeah, of, like, that's all fine. Yeah, balance yeah. it out. Whatever you fuck with. Whatever you feel like in your spirit. You know what's sad? Uh-oh. Salud. Before he fucked it up. Uh-oh. Because the last special, too, when he, like, came... No, I was never going to say that. <laughs> What'd you say? I said Bill Cosby. Before he fucked, fucked up, it up, it was Louis C.K. Oh, uh, yeah. Louis I C.K. was up there for Louis me. Louis a goat. He's Louis. I know what you mean, though. It's hard yeah. to separate the person And then from. his last yeah. special wasn't it for me, either. I was like, this I is not how it. you come back. <laughs> Bless you. Bless Sorry. you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Go on, Blunt. I'm feeling it. Um, it's one of them flowers on this one. Okay. I feel like our pops, they, didn't they put uh, Bill Cosby in their shit? My dad did. And he my did. dad be standing on that. Yeah, yeah. they be putting him in there. They in that point. They can stand on that, that My dad gives a good example, though. He, he, yeah. you know, he, he explains why he does it. He yeah. If you can articulate your logic, I dig He does. I, and he stands on that. These days, it's like an R. Kelly kind of thing. Where it Louis don't matter. Y'all, <laughs> like y'all, y'all sing to R. Kelly? Be for real. I don't. I, I never like. I don't know. I'm not. I never 40. was crazy. Like, I'm not, yeah, that ain't like my R. Kelly. Like, I know, but when it comes on, mean, do you sing his I'm songs? I'm not going like fight nobody. I ain't gonna go. I didn't say no like, fight nobody. It used to just <laughs> be on. <laughs> no, yeah. but I'm saying you at a party and you like I was born R. Kelly start playing. No, no, because that, that's too much of a pick and choose thing. I like know. I wouldn't choose to support him, but it's just so many people. It's like I never had to play R. Kelly. It was already on. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know. It wasn't yeah. like something like I wasn't. I'm not fighting nobody if they playing R. Kelly, yeah. but do Best you sing it out loud though, with your chest felt, in the felt, club? That felt like a scary do you question sing it out loud with your chest? Dep- oh no! We were Shane's birthday. We tried to sing it like this. Who's saying? Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. Don't want nobody judging me or trying to fight me because they got though. a really strong, you know. Yeah. Ignition come on happened. when you got a little vibe, huh? or like even just hotel with Cassidy, like the hook. So, yeah, just, we went to a karaoke. Saying? You're not even son, thinking R. about Kelly. R. Kelly though. You just mm, yeah. and he had a mask on, so we're not even sure it was huh? him like that. So <laughs> you can kind of get I'm off dead. the hotel shit. You know, try the video. Wait, you said she said three. My no, I said okay. Dave Chappelle, Richard, Richard Pryor, Pryor mm-hmm. Louis. I can't say him right now, so no. I'm yeah. taking so, him out. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. Uh, yeah. Dishonorable mention. Fifth not dishonorable mention. I'll do right now. Was making me laugh. Mike Epps. Okay. Um. Wasn't he on mine? Was no. He? I think so. On yours? Yeah. No. You had Dan Cook on you yours say- Hell no. I said Mike. Y'all never sh- going to let me live this I down. I can't remember. I said Dan Cook once. I'll give a white guy. <laughs> you don't have to. Who should I'll give a white guy. I'll give a Bill Burr. Okay, Bill Burr. You said Bill Burr. I said Bill Burr. I like Bill Burr. That's funny. He's married to a black woman. Good enough. That's facts. He has a black child. He has a black child. Multiple. Multiple. Yeah, I think he got a couple. Oh, he, do, he got two. Yeah. I think he got a daughter first. He, I yeah, was just watching a movie with him, him on Netflix. Go check that out. Uh, support my my boy, uh, Bill favorite. Burr. He actually follows me on IG too. Does you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. 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 You posted. Yeah. 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 Can we drop yeah. a bomb or something? Yeah. 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 That's a bomb flex. Shout out to Bad Dad. Cameron going to put that in in post, you I'll yeah, send a screenshot. That's so awesome. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool list. That's a cool list. Mike Epps. You say you say you had him on yours too? I might have. I, I think I'm pretty sure I have Mike Epps on my show. What do you Mike Epps is like, like Uncle Fun, like like at the yeah. barbecue. Yeah, he has like a vibe kind yeah, of shit. Like, yeah. like His shit is all act out. So it's like he's always gonna be like, yo, the old nigga be like, hey, look at yeah. that. Like, <laughs> you do shit like <laughs> it is funny always funny. And it feels familiar because you everybody knows somebody with that kind of like energy. Who else is funny right now? Tom Segura, I think he's funny. Tom Segura, um, I listen oh, to his podcast. Funny. Y'all he's fuck funny. with um, y'all fuck the with shows. We don't talk about shows. What's Andrew Schultz. Yeah, you like Burke Kreischer? Yeah, I like you like Burke Kreischer. That's funny. Yeah. I like Burke. I like Andrew Burke is funny. Schultz. Yeah, I like his story. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis. Oh yeah, you said Shane. You mentioned before. He's gonna be one of the ones, man. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, I just watched. And that nigga's a Republican, and I still like him. Yeah, that's how you know the nigga's just. He's just funny, like. That's good. He, he just dropped something on Netflix too. Mm. Yeah. Definitely watch that one. Moral of the yeah. story is there's no longer any room for Dan Cook. That nigga <laughs> He's Cook, man. He just married shout his... out, shout out 2004. Oh my God, why did he marry that 19 year old girl? Was she 19? 25? Who, however Cook? old she is, he met her oh. when she was not of age, Good I believe. Good luck, Chuck. Yes. Yeah. It's probably going to be bad for a few years. <laughs> I don't think I've seen I it. I liked him when he up. first came. Help me. Yeah, I haven't what? seen him. You liked him too. So Help me. I have to look. You like Dane? Help me. Help me explain why we liked Dane when we was little. I never watched. He his was. He had she a said, run. That's an interesting choice. Because niggas yeah. was little. He had a good run. His first he had a good specials. run. It was funny. Yeah, I never got it. I was and very so so I mean, no shot up so quick. Chuck. That's all I he know. He was about very Dane. physical comedy. It was very. He had a moment. He had a moment. It's just the moment is now lost. It's gone. 
I paid for that. So wait, who was in your? Um, who are you replacing him with? I I don't know. I think I'm just gonna hold that. L. <laughs> just gonna hold what, that. L. What were your guys's? I don't oh remember. man, I I can't remember fully. I know I had Bernie Mac, Patrice O'Neal. Pretty sure I got um, it. Dave. You wrote it down. Um, I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was looking for the list. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure I had. What are y'all looking for? What I had Eddie Che, Bill Burr. And I remember I think either Mike Epps or Cedric the Entertainer. You did not say Cedric mm. the Entertainer. I didn't. So no, it was that's Mike how Epps I knew. Then. It was I also Mike don't Epps. remember you saying Mike Epps. I don't remember mm. what I said. What is her name? I said. I said. Oh, I said Chris Rock. What she look like? Eddie. Who? Like an auntie. What a girl. Like an auntie. Older? Yeah, she's <laughs> older black lady. Yeah. <laughs> she going stupid on the video. She's, she's got a, she's got a lot of history. Lou now? No, but. Same kind Ronda of like Sykes, a thing. Lunel, Simone, Monique. Um, it's actually gonna bother me. Uh, that I can't think of her name. Uh, uh, Adele Givens. Adele Givens. No, um, she just had her first. Special Adele on Givens Netflix. is she fire. Just had her first, still fire. Yeah, and she was on an episode of Bert. She's on Abbott. Uh, is she on Abbott Elementary? No, no. but she was on an episode of Bert Show where about? he like goes to the principal. She's oh. a stand-up. Oh, oh she yeah, she's stand-up. She's funny. She is funny. Miss something. Miss oh, Pat. Miss Pat. Pat. Miss Pat. 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 Pat is funny. I, I was going to say that. Miss Pat. She is so funny. She is funny. Miss Pat is a gangster. She got shot before. Like a lot she got shot. Yeah, she, she, got shot really she got shot by her baby father. She got shot by her baby father. In the titty, I think. In the titty? Yeah, she got shot. She got a crazy story. That made you want to admit. And she got a show on BET, a sitcom on BET. Okay, that's why I first heard of her. She just got a judge show on BET, too. Everybody has a judge. Are they so bad, are they just though. doing that for fun? Yeah, because they're they not judges, right? Okay. Steve Harvey. Yeah, got a judge. Steve Harvey's is definitely not a judge. Neither show. is uh, Star Jones. Yeah, they just funny. They do be real cases, but they, you know, how they real cases? They're not real lawyers because they have to sign like a contract that they'll allow like that network or the individuals to determine what the results of that case will be, just so that they could be on. Do the they go to real court after? No. Nah. They give them the right to make the decision. Basically. It must be a That's lawyer be on such set small or something. Claims There's a lawyer on set. Or it's boring though. Shane, girl, thank you for yes, coming. Thank you guys for having thank me. Thank you for extending so your stay in New York to do this with yes. us. Um, and you this know, like fun. the way that you you've been mad cool every time I've been around you, and the way that y'all are close, you could come through here anytime. Oh, anytime, girl. Make you a fourth mic. You heard? Yes. Yeah, might need a fourth mic. I love that. You guys are cool. yeah, um, talk about current events, anything. Yeah, anything you think about, you come on. Yeah, we appreciate you coming out. Um, was it fun? It was fun. Did you yeah, enjoy the time? conversation? Yeah, I'll come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll come back. Before we came in, I, ain't, I don't really like to talk to guests too much before we go, get he going. Because he'd be too early yeah, on. Yeah, I'll be yeah, talking about, so I didn't want to talk quiet. to you too much. I didn't know if you thought it was just going to be boring, like we were just going to be sitting here and yeah. not getting oh, nothing cool. Oh, so. yeah. so, I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah. Hope you had a good chopped yeah. cheese earlier. She had a chopped cheese. She had a chopped cheese You already know Carl would have go with the camera. He caught the whole thing. Yeah, I was like, can you not? He was recording you while you did. I'm trying to. He going to do that. He's got to let it. His Instagram. <laughs> well, Shane, let everybody know where you can find. For sure. Oh, yeah. if, if you want to be found. Yeah. If you want to be found. Uh, Instagram, Shane Audra underscore at the end. Mm-hmm. Twitter, food Shane page. Audra. We could put it on. She got a food Instagram, page. Instagram, Shane's Kitchen. Yes. Hey. Yes. Shane's yeah. Kitchen. Shane's Kitchen. Um, yeah. This has been another amazing episode of Can of Comedy. Yes. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we catch y'all next time. Yeah. Well, appreciate Peace. y'all.